website itv.com forward slash. <laughs> Thank you very much. My final guest today, what a lovely sound, shot to fame as the feisty Sharon Watts in the It's Hope EastEnders. She's had three stints in the show since it began, but two years ago, she succumbed to the sequins and lycra of this TV hit. was beautiful, impeccable footwork, pure... Top nine has improved enormously since the series. Brilliant. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Please welcome Letitia Dean. <laughs> Letitia, there's, there's nothing of you, dear. Gosh. <laughs> well, I tell you, it's a good advert for your workout. Letitia Dean's Lean Routine. I don't Do you think not I like the title, isn't it, Cash? Lean Routine. <laughs> that is astonishing. I mean, you really have to work incredibly hard, obviously. To Very do. hard, Because it yeah. says on me a size 16 on the, the far left one. Yeah, and I do not size like that picture. <laughs> That's no, but, but it must make you days. feel better now when you look at what you were like. Yeah, I mean, I feel a lot better, really. You know, my weight's always gone up and down, as I'm sure everybody knows, over the years. So it's been nice to have some consistency with it. But that, the thing is, people always say, yes, but you see, the trouble is when you do it like that, you can never keep it off. Is that the struggle now, is actually keeping it off? Are you finding it's easy to, easier than you thought to keep it off, or more difficult? This time around, it's easier for me, because I've, I've finally learnt the art of exercise, really, which, you know, I was always in denial about for years. So it's just having a balance in life, not being too hard on yourself, and just keep things ticking over, really. Yeah. Whereas before, I'd always be on some mad diet and never exercise, or do mad exercise and no diet. <laughs> and keep eating. And keep eating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did Strictly. And thank you for the fruit. You're welcome. I'll give you the banana later. Little. Was Strictly. <laughs> I don't know where it comes from, I just don't know where it comes from. But it was it Strictly <laughs> that, that really spurred you into, into doing the weight loss thing? Well, I, with Strictly, you know, obviously I, I got a nice regime going on with that, you know, and it's very hard work and everything and stuff. And then as soon as I finished, I did the, uh, the show and then I did the tour. And as soon as I finished the tour, I went back, you know, when it, us actors rest for a few months. <laughs> rest means eat. Yes, yes. <laughs> exactly. Eat sleep. So I went back to my old habits. I didn't exercise and ate really badly and I just got fed up of it. So when this opportunity came up for me to do something about my lifestyle, yeah. I, you know, I took it with open arms, you know, so. Yeah. Well, you know, you've been in and out and in and out of EastEnders. I mean, yeah. do you rule out what going do you back? That, yeah. Well, you've just been in it three times. It's lovely to keep having you back. <laughs> because you were in the original cast. I was, yeah. Back. In 1984, I think it was, yeah. and I did 11 years straight, as we call it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me for good behaviour. 11 so, years. Yeah, and as a baby, like I said, I was 15, so. Uh, I remember on the one-year anniversary going and interviewing Arthur Fowler, as he was uh. then, Bill Treacher, in Albert Square with his potatoes, because he was a keen gardener. Mm -hmm. So they sent me from Pebble Mill, go and interview Arthur, because it's the first anniversary. In fact, I think the Daily Mail sent me. But there I went, anyway, I went to do it. And it was the draftiest, coldest place on earth. Oh, it Albert is Square, pretty cold. Up yeah. in Elstree. Oh, it's freezing, up where they film it in Elstree, yeah. When it's warm, it's too warm. Yeah. When it's cold, it's too cold. But... Do you miss it, though? Do you, you know, that because yeah. it's such a regular, we had the Cory people on as well, and, mm -hmm. and they talk about this kind of, it's like a nine-to-five job in a way, it's such a habit. And after 11 years, it must have been quite difficult to change gear. Well, like I said, my first time was like 11 years, and then I went back for about five and then two and stuff. So, I did, I, you do miss the people, because, it, you know, it's your family, and mm. I was so young, like I said, when I started and everything, and... Yeah, I do, I do miss it. And I always say, never say never. They've not asked me to go back. I don't think I've been found hanging from Bridge Street yet. No. <laughs> I can never keep track of who they could bring back and who they certainly can't bring back. Somebody will have been in a shower, you'll be okay. You know. Oh, that was Dallas. Well, you know. But well, my theory is that Sharon's it. working as manageress in Hooters in Texas. That's why I think she is. <laughs> oh, that would be good, wouldn't it? Super fun. But, you, but you've done other things still. We mustn't just talk about East Enders. That's you've okay. proved that you, you're an actress, an actrine, as Mr. Wogan would say, doing other stuff. What things really persuade you to sort of get stuck in that? Would you do the London stage, for instance, or would you come and tread the boards? Oh, I love doing it. In the summer, I did High School Musical at the Hammersmith Apollo, yeah. playing Miss Darbus, playing older. I was playing 55. It was lovely. It was <laughs> joy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd go back... It's young for you, though, Alan, isn't it? It's 55. <laughs> <laughs>
Very much that's like Britannia Heights, very much sort of the hairspray, it's a kid's audience. I mean, yeah, it's a wonderful part for me, playing the drama teacher, and these kids, are, or kids, young adults, are so mm. talented. Mm. And just, you know, they just give you energy. It was just the most fantastic job for about three or four months I did it, so I loved it's, it. It's, it's always the way with actors. You're either in something for a long time, it seems to me, or it's, uh -huh. it's one thing and then another thing and then another thing. And they always say it's the insecurity of the job that keeps you going. Is that with you, the excitement of not, not, sort of not knowing what's around the corner? Oh, absolutely. It's also the fear. I mean, you know, even on your show, you stand backstage waiting to come on, and it is terrifying. And I think when you have those nerves, though, it gives you adrenaline, doesn't it? And it gives you a fire. Mm. You know, you can't mm. talk properly with him. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a fair old crack at it. But it just, they always say, doesn't it, you just need enough to give you that little lift yeah, that, without it making yeah. you a gibbering wreck. You're still Absolutely. Nervous, and not get you're... complacent, you yeah. know. And I think the day, the day, when the day comes where you don't get nervous, is a day you should give it up, really. You know, you have to have that, that fear and face your demons and, you know. Well, you faced your demons today, and I think you've got away with them. So thank you very much for <laughs> coming. Demon. And for, for goodness sake, I mean, stay as sweet as you are, as they say. And by you? the way, Alan, would you do my courtyard out for me? Of course I'll do your courtyard out Thank for you. you. You just make me as thin as you are. Yeah. No problem. This Ladies is and gentlemen, promise. Letitia Dean. <laughs> <laughs> what do I let myself in for? That's it, really, man. Up to our courtyard. Join us tomorrow when with music and chat from Grammy Award winning Irish singing star Enya. Ashley Pearson has all the latest showbiz gossip. Former Mayor of London, Ken Livingston, discussing today's news. And there's another chance to win £10,000 cash to spend on your loved one this Valentine's Day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.